Good morning. Each week I pause, step back from the weekly routine and compose, film and edit these devotions. Most of the time the thoughts and plans for these devotions are connected to something I've read or seen or considered. Scripture comes to mind and the link between observation and biblical text is made and expressed. But sometimes events dominate our hearts and fill our vision. These can be good, but some can also be deeply troubling. The events in Israel and Gaza have filled us with great sadness, uncertainty and perhaps even anger at our ability as humans to hurt and destroy one another. Words and video seem utterly inadequate. How can we comprehend the suffering and hatred? It is in these times when silence seems the best prayer and scripture the only perspective. Hear these words from various scriptures. May they give voice to our pain, depth to our prayer and confidence in our God. Habakkuk chapter 1 verses 2 to 4. How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Or cry out to you, violence, but you do not save? Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrongdoing? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and conflict abounds. Therefore the law is paralysed and justice never prevails. The wicked hem in the righteous so that justice is perverted. Psalm 55 verses 1 through 3 Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. My thoughts trouble me and I am distraught because of what my enemy is saying, because of the threats of the wicked, for they bring down suffering on me and assail me in their anger. Luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19 The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. John 16 verse 33 I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Romans 16 verse 20 The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Revelation 19 verses 6 to 8 And I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder, shouting hallelujah for our Lord God Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Revelation 22, verses 20 to 21. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. May these words, may the words of Scripture, 
quieten our hearts and give us confidence in these days. And may we, in silence, pray that the Lord of eternity, the Lord of peace, will reign. Let's pray in silence. May your will, O Lord, be done on earth as it is in heaven. And yours is the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May you know the peace and grace of the Lord Jesus Christ this day and for evermore. Thank you. <laughs>